Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson ZAPQ, and in this tutorial, we are going to conduct a two-way ANOVA using SPSS. Before we conduct the two-way ANOVA, I want to describe the data set. In the first two columns here, we have our independent variables, type of program, and gender. They are both nominal variables, as the variables can be qualitatively classified into discrete, separate categories. Type of program specifically has two categories, online and traditional. Online is coded as one, and traditional is coded as two. Gender also has two categories, male and female. Male is coded as one, and as we scroll down, we see some twos here. Female is coded as two. We also have our dependent variable, total sense of community, here in the fifth column. Now the classroom community scale measures sense of community, and it consists of two subscales, both learning community and connectedness. These two subscale scores were added together to create a composite score for total sense of community, which ranges from 0 to 80, and as I said, we will use as our dependent variable. Now that you understand the data set, let's go ahead and run the two-way ANOVA. We click Analyze general linear model univariate and we're presented with the univariate dialog box. We're going to click our dependent variable total sense of community and use the arrow button here to move it over to the dependent variable box. Next we are going to click type of program one of our independent variables and move it over to the fix factor box by using the arrow. We're going to do the same with gender. Now, I want to take a moment here and talk about the post hoc test. We don't need to run post hoc test for our uh, analysis here because neither of our independent variables have more than two groups. But I'm going to go ahead and click on post hoc. If we were to run post hoc test, we would, we would click on the independent variable that has more than two groups and use the arrow button to move it over to the post hoc test for box. Now what you'll notice is this activated the equal variance assumed and the equal variance not assumed boxes. If we were going to run post hoc test to determine where differences lie within the different groups or categories of the independent variable, for equal variance assumed, we may click on two keys. For equal variance not assumed, we may click on do nits or games how. However, as I noted, we do not need to run post hoc test, so I'm going to click cancel. They're simply not applicable here. So in or what we do need to do here, though, is to click the options box. Now, the first thing that we're going to do when we're presented with the univariate options dialog box is move our independent variables as well as the interaction over to the factor and factor interactions, or from the factors and factors inter interactions box into the display means, display means for box. To do this, I'm going to click on type of program. I'm going to hold the shift key down, click on gender and the interaction and use the arrow box or arrow key or box here to move it move all of these variables over to this display means for box. I'm going to click compare main effect. Now I'm going to move down here to the display area. In or, uh, for my statistical report I need descriptive statistics so I'm going to click descriptive statistics so SPSS output includes descriptive statistics. Also, per um, most, most style guides, they say you need to report the effect size. So in order for our output to include partial eta squared for our two-way ANOVA, I'm going to click estimates of effect size. I'm also going to click observe power so that our output includes observe power. If we hadn't already in a previous tutorial run the homogeneity of variance test, I would go ahead and click homogeneity of variance so our output includes the Levine's test. I'm not going to include that here. Um, that is all that we need to uh, click here. I'm going to make sure the significance level is at 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is the default uh, in SPSS, but always just check to make sure the significance level is at 0 0.05. This means 
that we will fail to reject the null or reject the null based on the significance level of 0.05. I'm going to go ahead and click continue and this returns me to the univariate dialog box. Next, I'm going to go ahead then and click the plots button. Here we're presented with the univariate profile plots dialog. I'm going to transfer gender from the factors box over to the separate lines box. So I'm going to go ahead and move, click on gender and use the arrow button here to move it over to the separate lines box. I'm going to then click on type of program and move it over to the horizontal axis box using the arrow. Then I'm going to click the add button. And what you'll notice is type of, uh, type of program and gender is added to the plots box. This will uh, tell SPSS to, to create plots, which you'll see in a moment in the output. I'm going to click continue. Then I'm going to click OK, and SPSS will generate the output for the two-way ANOVA.